Preface. This tutorial is filmed in a constrained space with inadequate lighting conditions. It will be difficult to see the control display, but with all its flaws it might still be of educative value. Welcome. The scope of this tutorial is to show how to start and turn off the industrial robot arm, the KUKA, that we have here at KTH School of Architecture. So, to start the machine, you do like this. You turn this dial to 1, clockwise. The computer will start. You see here for the industrial arm controller that the system is booting up. When you see the main interface having appeared, you are ready to start interacting. On the back of the controller, there's a small pen that you can use for the touch interface. You begin by pressing the robot arm icon here in the top left and this might be a little finicky, you might have to calibrate your own senses as to where it actually registers the touch. In the main menu we go to configuration and then to user group and then we select expert. Changing to expert mode will require a password, which you will be given when using the machine. Regarding the touch interface, this might be the most difficult part to actually enter the correct password in a correct way. But after a couple of tries, you will succeed. One, five, one, five, seven, one, one, five, one, one. And then press enter to confirm the password. Let's see here if I can pinpoint this right. Yes. This was of course the incorrect password, you will be given the correct one when using the machine. Alright, now it says here that the logged on user has switched from operator to expert, press OK. Now one thing that you will have to do before actually being able to interact with the machine is to confirm the warning notice here that the battery or battery fuse is defective, backup is not possible. This is not a critical error and it has persisted since the change of batteries but you'll have to explicitly confirm this dialog to be able to interact with the machine. So press here, confirm all. Having confirmed the error notice, we are now able to interact with the machine. To be able to maneuver with the machine, you must activate the dead man's grip, a safety feature most often found on boats and jet skis, but also on industrial arm robots that makes sure that if you lose contact with the controller, any motion stops. Whether you are right or left-handed, it doesn't matter. You only need to activate one of them. But you have to activate them so as to be able to operate with the machine. I will showcase now, holding down the dead man's grip here, you will see that these indicators will light up and you will be able to maneuver with the machine. So now you see that these are highlighted in green. As of now, these correspond with all six of the joints that the industrial robot arm has. For ease of maneuvering, we want to change the mode of maneuvering from local axis rotation for all of the individual joints to world axis positioning. We can release the dead man's grip and you will see that these highlights will not be highlighted anymore. To change the mode of maneuvering, we press the small robot arm icon here and then we change from axis to world. Now it's changed to world and you see that we now have XYZ here instead. Great. Before actually maneuvering we also would like to change the feed rate for manual operating. So uh, here for manual operating we have a 10% feed rate and we might initially just for testing decrease this to about 5% which was quite hard, so let's do 4%. Great. So now for manual maneuvering, the feed rate is 4%. And now we're ready to maneuver with the machine, but first let's open the safety doors. You'll have to input two fingers here, and then you'll be able to open this. All right, let's reposition the view. Before we maneuver with the machine, we of course want to first make sure that the situation does not impose any risk of colliding with anything or damaging anything. So in this case, since this stepper motor is connected via cable here,
before moving the head, so to say, we want to make sure that this does not risk damaging the cable here. So in this case, I think it would be wise to input it here. Like that. Now, for this demonstration, we will do very gentle moves with no risk of making this tipping over. It has quite a mass itself, so it's, it will balance quite all right. Now, this cable and the stepper motor is not at risk. Now, maneuvering with the machine will be quite easy because we have already changed the positioning mode from joint local rotation mode to the world, world XYZ axis. So, holding the dead man's grip, which will highlight these and enable the motors, we can now simply hold the plus sign here. And as you remember, we have already adjusted the feed rate to be very, very slow here. So this will not produce any fast motion at all. And then we'll simply hold the plus here to go forward in the X direction, in the X positive. And as you see, this is very slow. Uh, I'm going to release the dead mass grip. And then I'm going to change the manual feed rate from 4% to perhaps 20%. 21%, excellent. And then I'll do the same, so still positive x-axis direction, holding the dead mass grip. And now you see a more discernible movement. We'll go back in x-axis. And then we'll go in the negative y-axis direction. And we can go upwards in the set axis direction. And as you see, the movement is very smooth, thanks to all six joints working in collaboration. This knob dial here can be used when you push it and when you pull it to move forwards in the head's orientation as well as reorienting the head which is not advisable in this case since we have the stepper motor on there. So now we can move back to approximately where we were. And as you see the pulley is uh, compensating for the weight of the stepper motor. And one thing to take of note is that you should not go too far beyond the work area, so to say, uh, because the pulley has a limited range and we don't want to extend beyond that. Now we are ready to shut down the machine, so go to the main menu here. And then to shut down. And then you can press this button here to the left, shut down control PC. Do you really want to shut down the control PC? Yes. And then you just wait for the computer to shut down. In the meantime, you can reposition this uh, controller into its holder by the wall. And now, when you hear that the controller PC has been shut down, you are ready to turn off the power. Counterclockwise. The safety doors should be closed. Make sure you don't forget anything inside, although it is possible to open these safety doors from the inside, of course. Make sure that these two gently meet. And then just rotate this handle here. Now, it cannot be opened until the machine is booted again. If you, like I did, forget anything, you just reboot it again. And now you're able to open this door. And able to gently, gently, gently restore the room as it was before.
Alright, that's a brief tutorial on how to start, maneuver manually and shut down the machine. For actually running programs, there will be a separate tutorial. Thank you for your time.